Hello everybody, welcome to the messenger, this is like a uh, 2D metroidvania sort of game where you play as a ninja, it's pretty fun, I played it a little bit, but for the sake of uh, my channel, I'm just gonna start a new one, we're only about 3 hours in, so it shouldn't take us too long, since I got that experience, we could rush through it, just the first little bit at least, and uh, you already know what the name's gonna be. Let's confirm. Yes. Another day and still no sign of the so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around everyone, history lesson is about to begin. Oh great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Alright, so, we got our little ninja man here, sword attack, uh, I don't think we need any of the options, but these cloud stuff, scoring a hit in the air lets you jump again, jump hit jump, alright let's go. Hops. Right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Ah, uh, yeah, I was just reading about that. A master at the cloud step. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And should they... Uh-oh. They have returned. This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out. Well, shit, it looks like I am the sole survivor. Don't go, you, you, you are not ready. I think I, I, I am ready, actually. Oh, shit. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound. Impossible. Sick flip. It seems luck is with you this day. I'm a docile. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Alright. Are you the western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I've got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of utmost importance for you take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you and why is the scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed Messenger. 
Ah, oh, that said the title. You got the scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Alright. Well, let's get going. Pretty uh, intense entrance. And just like that, it's nighttime. Yeah, I don't mind restarting either because uh, I need to freshen up on the story. And these levels have some bangers for music. Very nice. Alright. I'll try to collect all these little things too. I forget exactly what they're called. I think with a huge shell on their back, you wouldn't be able to kill them from behind, but it does not matter. Can I hit those? Uh, not too long before I started this game, I played Shovel Knight for the first time too. So that was pretty cool. multi-dimensional room. This dude talks a lot. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Any sassy. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where the three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order slowed down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. That's what I was thinking too. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house, enjoy. Climbing claws. Press against walls while I bring a stick to them. Need anything. Let's take a look at these upgrades. Ooh. We'll do this one. Strike of the ninja. We'll chat with them. So climbing claws. Oh yeah, you can press against walls to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guided invented them decades ago. Who's John Guided? Never mind. Just an acknowledgement I need to get out of the way. I don't get it. Somewhat. We'll ask them what this place is. Seriously though, where are we? Curious are we in time you will come to realize that the question is not where but when. That's it. Listen, I know you're, you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back to the action anyway, just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Cause these days. Can we ask him even more? Any stories to share? Oh jeez. Oh my lord. This is a long story. I'll just go through it. If you want to see the story, you know. Feel free to pause, but this dude goes on and on for a while. It was pretty funny dialogue. I remember reading that one a little bit, but I don't remember what the whole point of it was. I just like to exhaust their dialogue. Alright, we're out. And we can go over here to the cabinet as well. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you the cabinet is off limits. 
Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to get used in the outside world or maybe, I don't know, save humanity? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Should I do it? Alright, we'll do it. Well, we're gonna be here for a minute. And he's not wrong. Can't skip it. I'll take this time to, uh... You know... Just relax for a second. But it's on to some some good stuff though. It is pretty uh pretty earth shattering story. He's on to something. Definitely like how his place looks too. That's what that was, is the last traveler. Okay, so I think you just said the same stuff again. I want to see if there was anything special for exhausting that dialogue, but 10 minutes later and we're finally out of there. Looks like the uh, fruits from Super Mario Sunshine. Now I can finally get rid of those. So they won't be nothing. I'll break this. Checking for secrets, but I don't think there is any. At least over here. Drop down. Yes. Alright. I think that's the mountain we're going to, perhaps. checkpoint sometimes but not all the time that's gonna be a shot. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> uh, very muffled down here. Oh shit I did not mean to do that. straight back into it. And back down. Ooh, that was close to my foot. Take the lower route on this one. Alright, back up. over that maybe or we can just go this way we got this dude 
really is like the older games too, just how they respond. I want all the time shards. Alright. Back into it. I think there's usually a boss at the end of the levels. And the bosses are pretty cool too. Alright, into the next shop. Need anything? Upgrade. Range attack. I think maybe I should get the health first. Or. Shuriken and the health. There you go. I think we just get energy from killing stuff. Or whatever this thing is. Maybe not. I don't even know if I want to climb down there and kill him. For a one time shard, I think not. Alright, there's the energy. So I guess, yeah, that's just from killing enemies. Oof. Good dodges. Get this little thing. Every time I see that, it reminds me of something. I'm trying to think of what game that's from, though. Uh, maybe like Hollow Knight. But there's another, there's a couple games with some crazy ass looking, like, caterpillar things. It'll come back to me while we're playing. Oof. Alright, well that one thing fucked me up pretty bad. Oh, okay, we just jump off of it. I was thinking maybe I fucked up by killing the one dude. Maybe it's supposed to throw that up and then we hit it with the sword, but it seems like we're good. Let's see how the shurikens do. It's a little weak, but that's alright. I'll probably upgrade them sometime. these on each level. So it seems you want the one of the beaten path. What was that big green object? Uh, you mean that thing you just smash instead of collecting? It's a power suit. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're kind of adventure that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden moves. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. Well, there you go. Definitely want a uh, overpowered upgrade. Oh, shit. Oh, a new customer. What happened? I almost died just there. 
strictly speaking, we did. But how? My name's Corbin. Corbin. At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. Hey man, I just missed jump, alright? The gist of it is I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your dead in my little notepad. So I'll stick around and steal your loot until either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eye. Carry on. Alright, well, I kept the power seal, so I don't need to get back over there. Hey, it really just eats the loot, huh? Have it. Go ahead. Alright. So I wonder if there's just one power C on each level, but we'll just keep a lookout for hidden rooms. Quickness. I guess it's gone. Alright. Oof. There we go. I think this is the boss, right? Back to our boy. Upgrade. What well, being not bad to do an air recovery jump. Alright. Level boss. Looks like you're almost the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there is a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. Haha. <laughs> That look on your face, don't worry my dear adventure, leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's... I didn't mean to. Well, good luck. Appreciate it. Alright, we're back out. Let's check out this leaf monster. Well, there it is. Doesn't look too crazy. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I need to remember his attacks. One down here. And that thing. Alright, not too bad. Oof. That was a... Uh, oh shit. Guess that was it. Alright, well. First try. Even though the first boss. So I got a... Uh, Relearn their moves and whatnot. And I'm thinking of doing these uh, videos just one area of video. Just keep the rendering short and being able to kind of push them out pretty quick. And it's easier to select what you want to see, you know. So I'll see you in the next part.